This is Phoebe from Smart City Development Project Office. Welcome to 2021 Virtual Trade Mission. From March 23rd to 25th, the Industrial Development Bureau of the Ministry of Economic Affairs will present you Taiwan Pavilion in the Smart City Expo gathering 17 Taiwanese companies with solutions that are already successfully deployed around Taiwan. And we roughly uh, divided them into six themes, including education, tourism, 5G application, healthcare, transportation, agriculture, and governance. I'm sure as most of the audience in front of the screen right now would, be, would agree with me that Taiwan is probably the most, the safest place in the world in the COVID crisis. However, the restriction of traveling is still very rigid here in Taiwan. Unfortunately, um, this year's Smart City Expo, um, we don't have as much uh, as international visitors here physically. However, in response to the pandemic situation, we will provide you online tour of smart city and rural area applications displayed in the theme pavilion for foreign tourists and foreign guests and also for those who cannot be here physically. Without further ado, in the mission today, we will introduce you I think it's a very interesting company called Webduino. Sounds very much like a developing tool, isn't it? And it's a group of developers uh, from southern Taiwan that dedicated to lowering the entering of um, lowering the threshold of entering the world of Internet of Things and to assist schools of all ages um, to advance their education of information technology. Um, before I get closer to Webduino, I have to put on my mask. Hi, Willie. <laughs> okay, um, would you Tell us more about what Webduino is doing here in this expo. Sure, no problem. Um, actually, uh, Webduino, we focus on STEM education, and we are teaching kids like uh, how to coding on uh, to uh, to uh, develop the IoT, and then uh, actually we have a uh, to put a, the students' prototype into an actual uh, actual uh, site. Yes, and then here we show uh, to you is that uh, we have a smart planting that we can uh, co collect the light number and it will uh, water in the planet yeah, by, by uh, remotely and automatically. Yeah, uh, actually, sit, sure. You can see. Okay. So, um, so sorry. Okay, you can show that uh, there's a uh, variety of numbers here, like uh, temperature and the moisture and the uh, light or the soil moisture. And we can control on the, our website right here to control the relay on or off. Like we press the on button and you'll start uh, automatically. Yeah, this is an IoT uh, to, uh, and here it shows that uh, this is our program by moving the blocks that we can teach in the farmers how to uh, coding uh, to control their uh, uh, to control their uh, systems automatically. Yeah, that, that's is what we did. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much, really. But I also noticed there's um, a very big part of Webduino that is about smart education. So you mentioned about teaching farmers how to coding. Um, what about for schools and for kids? Okay, okay so we, I see there's another colleague. Um, I, I believe it's Jack, right? Yeah, right? Jack, would you mind moving here to my left side? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so introduce our product. 
Okay, okay. Uh, our team is uh, based on the promotion of STEAM and uh, IoT, education and expansion to com co uh, com com commercial application planning with other related business or industrial application development. Uh, we accumulate accumulation the technology educate educate experience in last five years in Taiwan for school at all levels and we collect all cl a class teaching experience and put it all in the broadcast uh, we spent almost one year to produce this web duno technology education public broadcast in the professional studio and we threw the WebDuno graphical uh, programming interface to be learning online, which means it can be helpful for the school and the teachers to teaching their students of AIoT by the easily way. All the students can be use the solution and the application to make their own protocol, protocol, uh, pro, uh, uh, prototype. I mean prototype of AIoT device in this hand-on course, such as like smart fan and uh, smart desk lamp and smart protopo, uh, pro, pro, prototype device. We can be learned from this web do you know broadcast online with no border. Okay, thank you very much, Jack. Um, but I do have a small question yeah. that um, what is the youngest age that you have taught so far that who know how to coding? The youngest. The youngest like, um, probably uh, elementary school at third, third grade. Okay. Yeah. Maybe nine years old. Yeah, probably. Okay, so youngest age nine years old know how to coding because of what do you know? Okay, thank you very much. And if you have, do we have any questions online? Now, okay, it's okay. We have the survey, and you can also connect it with us um, by the emails. Thank you very much, Willie, and thank you very much, Jack. More than 20 years in the ELT industry. User-friendly interactive platform. Lots of video and audio materials. Learn anytime and anywhere. The, the new, new English, English learning, learning experience, experience using ebooks. E Next, let's move on to one of the largest producer of multimedia language learning organizations. We have Sherry here. Hi, hello. Um, can you tell us more about why Life ABC? I know it's a really big brand here in Taiwan. What are you guys offering in this Smart City program? Hi, my name is Sherry. I'm from uh, overseas department, and uh, now we uh, we are uh, traditionally we are a publishing house in Taiwan, but now we develop a lot of AR and VR contents, and uh, for school or for university, and for uh, some uh, uh, B2B or B2C. Yes, and now uh, now you can see I'm I have a tablet on my hands. And uh, this is the AR uh, contents. We have the students, and if students want to read, uh, they want to see the contents. They have uh, this is an app for traveling around the road, and they can use this app to see a lot of spots, uh, famous spots in the in the country. And first, I choose the. Oh, sorry. I have to choose the Japan. You can choose the country you like. And we have three functions. First, you can see the vocabulary word. And we have the 3D model here, and there is an a introduction of the word. And you can hear the voice here. OK, and next. Sorry? The second function is quiz. 
some students want to practice, and we make some quiz, right? And here you have to scan the picture. This one. Oh, and you can see, wow, there's a big cat. And here's the word of the cat here. And we have a small, oh, this is the building. And you can touch the quiz and start, answer the question. Oh, try again, sorry. Yeah, well done. And you have to answer a whole question. And if you answer the correct answer, you will get the points, okay? And the third function is GAN. You can use the GAN and the AR app will ask you to find the word here and you have to find the correct card. And if you find the correct card, you will get the points. So this can help students to, uh, when they are using this app to in the class, it will be all very interesting because you are, they are not just reading the books. They can use their AR app to play and interact with their teacher and students. So we use AR to make uh, learning more interesting. And we also have the VR content. So we use the VR content. We built 12 scenarios in the VR, this headset. When you uh, travel, uh, when you are in the headset, you can see 12 3D model scenario we build, and the students can use can enter into the can enter into can enter into the scenario and practice their speaking and listening skill because there is an there will be a lot of MPC and will talk to the students or the teacher, so the teacher uh, the students can can uh, they can complete the whole conversation in the story and they will know how how's their speaking, how's the score they get, and after that they can also have play the vocabulary word games. They can go into the scenario and see what the items, be, uh, for example, uh, this is a table or this is a book, so they can see a lot of items in the scenario and learn the words. And the final, uh, the final one is the conversation mode. Students, uh, the teachers, can uh, set up the conversation dialogue in the back back end system. So the teachers setting and the students can find the conversation dialogue in this headset, and they can practice what the teacher set up. So the this is can help students to learn the English more. Uh, more fun and more interesting. So this is what we provide of AR and the VR contents. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, do we have any questions online for Life ABC as well? Okay, let me check online. <laughs> okay, so the question is, how many contents and types of contents have you built? Oh, uh, you mean AR or VR? In AR, we build a lot of contents. Uh, I think it's more than 10 or, um, yeah, because we usually our, co uh, our partners are school or the government. So uh, we build a lot of contents, yeah. Based on uh, their requirements uh, in their curriculum, right? Yes, based on the contents or based on our customers. Sometimes our customers are from the overseas, like in Latin America or in uh, South, South Asia, Japan, Korea. They have different requirements. So we will based on their requirement and uh, we, we will build a customized uh, app or VR contents for them. Yeah. Thank you very much, Sherry. Um, and we also have questions. Um, you can leave questions right now if uh, any of our people see it, and then I will come back to ask Sherry again. Um, but now I just received, we have a couple of questions for Web Juno as well. So, hi, Willie again. <laughs> um, someone asked, what is the feedback? Um, but do you have any feedback of the experience the farmer have given to you or the students when they use this system? Yeah. 
Um, actually, uh, now we just uh, 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 give out our products uh, this year, and we have uh, cooperate with the the experienced farmers uh, for a long time, and they they re they do share their experience for us. And but different uh, different area have different uh, like uh, different data, so we have to. Uh, well, it depends to give uh, give the users the different uh, experience or feedback to to you, uh, students as well. Yeah. Uh, what about? Um, can you give us one example uh, anywhere in in outside of Taiwan or in Taiwan? Oh, actually, um, in Taiwan, uh, we in Taoyuan we have a uh, f farms that uh, plant like uh, vegetables, like uh, it's like uh, bok choy. Yes, and. It, uh, it how, how, actually I have no idea with that. Uh, we do have collect all the data on online, and we can give all the data uh, like uh, how how to say that uh, open open source. We can give all the data for the users to check online. Yes. No problem. Um, I believe whoever asked the questions, you can also fill out the survey. And after the tour, we will ask the speaker here to connect with you directly as well. Thank you very much, really. Thank you. Thank you for participating in today's live tour. And you can see the pinned link above the chat room, which is the survey for your interest of matchmaking or any questions to the tour speakers. And if you miss the link, it's also okay because you can connect with us whenever you want via email. And I think I just received another question <laughs> for Life ABC. Please follow me. Okay. Hello. So, uh, can you repeat the question? Uh, the question can I, can oh, I see okay. again? Sorry. <laughs> okay. Can um, sure? okay. For Live ABC, can they share one example that how they work with the global partners? Oh. Okay. Uh, we have uh, one example in Korea, and uh, this one. Uh, it's okay. Korea. Uh, yeah, in Korea. Uh, usually we uh, uh, we have uh, cooperated with the Korea University, and they want us to build a school map in the a in AR function. So we help them. Uh, we use the uh, seven seven hundred and twenty degrees uh, the fun uh, the technology. And uh, we use the AR function and then build the AR app for this school. So the students, I mean the new students, when they are entering into the school, because this is their first time, so they can download the app and uh, they use the app to find the buildings in the school they, they want to go and uh, they can know where they are because we also build a GPS function in that. So we have customized this AR app for the, for the university. So yes, this is what we do. OK, thank you very much. I think that's very useful to familiarize with uh, the first time when you're entering a new environment to know more about the surroundings. Thank you very much, Sherry. Thank you. OK, um, just a soft reminder. Do we still have other questions? Not yet. My coming later. OK, uh, while we wait, <laughs> I would like to remind uh, the audience that tomorrow, Wednesday, 11.30 to 12.30 GMT plus A Taiwan time, we have another tour live talking about EV charging and 5G applications on Smart Factory. One more. One more question coming in. OK. <laughs> Thank you, Tiffany. OK. OK. So for Live ABC, besides for school education, which industry is your ARVR customer? Oh. OK. So besides for school, uh, what kind of other industries are your clients? Mm, actually, usually we cooperate with, with, with school. Uh, yeah. 
we we um, it is we do not have a lot of B two C case. Usually we are B two S, B two school, B two B two B. Yeah. So uh, it depends on the how what's the requirements from our clients. But yes. Okay. Well, I think it's not just about school. From your application, uh, the, your solution that you can also apply it to, like a huge field, maybe factories or maybe zoo. Ah, right. yeah, yeah. You're right. Uh, we have some uh, case. We cooperate with government. Mm -hmm. We uh, like some county or the country, and if we we build some uh, videos or some like English introduction app for them because some foreign foreigners they come to Taiwan for the first time and they are not very familiar in Taiwan so this app can help them to rec uh, to know Taiwan more to know Taiwan's history yeah so we have built some app uh, like for a zoo or in the country okay. in, yeah thank you thank you Sherry thank you Okay, uh, let me check for one last time. Do we have any more questions? Okay, um, thank you for your participating again, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.